Charting the Life Course framework is something for me more than just something professional that I developed. I am a sibling of a brother with a developmental disability, and so I've taken my experience in my personal life, um, my work in the disability field, and, and my work as a researcher to really think about what are the key principles that, that drive the work that we do, and to really make sure that it's centered around students or people with disabilities or really anybody. It started out as a disability framework and really evolved into what we call a human-centric framework. The educational objectives of the life course framework start with identifying the student's good life. And to break that down, it really comes down to starting with the student's gifts and talents. What th skills or assets do they already bring to their educational experience? Who are the people involved in that student's lives that might support them along the way? And maybe even what is the type of technology that could be used to support a student in ways that we aren't doing already. The framework is really just another way to take a student-centered approach and help students leverage their gifts and talents to have the best educational experience in the classroom that they can have. I started using the uh, Charting the Life Coach tools, tools in 2018. One of the tools or the concept, concept that has been useful in putting my education journey is the holistic framework because I um, want to work with people with disabilities to get jobs you have to think about the whole person so using that framework with my, the clients I work with help them vision what type of jobs they can get and how it might affect the relationship the advice that I would give to students who would want to use the life code framework to plan their educational journey is not to be afraid to use it. It helped me get through my class, so that extra step will help you get to your good life in your education. So charting the life course is about really giving voice to the student. The other thing that it does that's often left out in education is how do you bring the family's voice to the table? And how do you do it in a way that you are collectively supporting the student, recognizing the voice of the family, and recognizing the needs of the educators that are in that day-to-day -day building to support that student? And so there's a whole aspect on charting the life course called charting my family's life course that really allows families to think through what do I want for the future for my child? What are the supports I need to put in place at home now and in the future? My 16 year old um, Peyton um, was diagnosed with Down syndrome and um, multiple heart conditions as well and, and several um, other health conditions. A lot of times when you have a kid with a disability, you forget to ask kind of what they want to be and what their dreams are because you're so focused on helping them get through the day and making up those deficits. And one thing that Charting the Life Course really did for me was it made me stop and have a conversation. Um, he did not like that I'd pulled out a piece of paper, so I, have, I put it away and we just had a conversation about what his dreams look like, what did the best day ever look like when he was all grown up. And I've been able to use those things um, as he's gone on um, and remind him that those are things that he wants in the future. My son Gunner is 12 years old. He experiences autism, epilepsy, and other disabilities. He received his diagnoses before his second birthday, and we started uh, using Charting the Life Course when he was in preschool. I think Charting the Life Course has impacted my family dynamics um, in a large way. It has helped us to take what we've learned through family workshops and best practice in our training, and it's helped us to communicate that to all of our supporters. My mom, my sister, our other siblings, and cousins, they all really understand these concepts of dignity of risk. They really understand the life experiences and how important these things are. So it's really helped people to understand sometimes why I advocate, why he advocates, and it really helps us to really get on the same page around a shared vision. 
we're getting calls from school districts and state Department of Education talking about how it brings together cross-systems approaches. So the voc rehab systems, the adult service systems, the education systems, the early childhood systems are all talking about how do we integrate and utilize this to change our culture and our practices. And so there's really not any system it's not touching right now. Gutter's vision of a good life at this time is to live independently in a house of his own, to have a brown dog, to drive a red truck, to be a business owner. He wants to be married. He wants to have children. And so my, I feel like my job as a parent is to advocate with him for opportunities and to help him seek out different opportunities in the community to get him where he needs to be so that he can live that vision of a good life.